Hello, right. everybody, and welcome to uh, the first one shot I've done since ending the never ending train. I am Kai, your DM for the day, uh, and if our wonderful players could introduce themselves and their characters, starting from the top, please. Oh, man. That's you. <laughs> okay. I'm not used to being at the very top, I don't think. Uh, hi, I'm Ike, and I'm playing as Cherry Bomb. Uh, she is a fighter, she is not smart, and we're gonna have fun with this. <laughs> well, th this game's gonna be Himbo Supreme, I think, uh, for a bunch of us, so this'll be fun. <laughs> Next up, Blaze! Hi, I'm Blaze, I'm gonna be playing Shelly. She is a fighter, fighter artificer. Um, she is a uh, Frankenlini and she is a little grandma sheep. And we love her. I got Yay. a whole I got a whole packet of lemon drops from her already, so uh she's good in my book. <laughs> and last but certainly not least. Uh hi, I'm and there goes a okay. Hi, I'm Plague. <laughs> And people are being loud on my street. Okay. It's okay. I, I'm playing YB. He is a half Hoonkind, half Tiefling wizard. Is he also a himbo? Kind of. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Two himbos and a grandma. Oh, this will be so good. <laughs> Two himbos and a grandma. That's the new sitcom. There you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, and with that, do we want to begin? <laughs> <laughs> all right we yeah. uh as the camera uh zooms in across Inkwell, we find ourselves in happiest place which is the capital of gisnap um i gotta ask why would your three characters be wandering around in happiest place uh which one of us goes first i would say generally we start from the top so ike that's you <laughs> oh man well um <clears throat> Man, I haven't done Cherry in a while. Well, so as Cherry would go, she likes to travel a lot. And, well, obviously I need to go back to the happiest place. Well, actually, I've already been to the happiest place. Because the last I've been, I, I was at a, as a, at a bazaar and beat. So that's, that's, you know, you just kind of take in the sights and try different things. Yeah. So, like, you may as well, like, do a bit of wandering around, check out the place. It's a pretty big city. doesn't tend to be as busy as Toontown, but there's definitely still a lot of stuff going on. Uh, what about you? Oh, well, you see, it's been such a busy morning making different little treats and cookies, and, well, I just wanted to go out and stretch my legs a little bit, and well, I just ended up wandering over here, and everything just looks so nice over here, and I've been thinking about finding a new place to set up a perhaps a little sweet shop or something or you know but oh, it's just, just a nice day here and i'm down to at least half as much candy as i was carrying when i got here so you know it's been a good day so far <laughs> well shelly i will say that you have actually wandered into a very nice part of town uh for setting up small shops because you are in a road that is filled with a lot of small shops but before i get to do any more exposition uh yb what about you uh or Wybie, he has been traveling around for quite some time now, and he mostly just to he, he likes to learn. He likes making notes. He just loves to find out about things. So he's probably come down to town on his travels, probably by mistake, honestly, just by wandering into it. But God, is he enjoying it. <laughs> I am glad he's having a good time. I'm glad that all of your characters seem to be having a good time. Because as you are wandering about for your various reasons, each of you at some point during this day have wandered past a paint shop labelled Hughes, as in the, the colour. Uh, it seems to be rather small and rather cosy, and as you peer through the windows, uh, it is just chock-a-block with tins of paint of every single colour. And the other thing to notice about the window is a small sign in the bottom quarter, corner saying temporary help wanted, see inside for details. And each of you have wandered in. Did you have any notes on like why you would have gone in or uh, did you want me to just continue? Simple colours would be enough. It looks so colourful and she's always looking for new ideas and patterns and my goodness, what could all these colours be for? Why? Why? Be is now wanting to do research on how paint is made. 
<laughs> well, clearly the sign says help wanted, and I like to help people, and I'm going to help those that cannot help themselves. I love all three of you so much. This is such a good group. <laughs> all right. <laughs> As you guys have each stepped inside, probably not one right after the other, but uh, more around the same kind of day, it's uh, about like mid-afternoon by this point, you step in, like, as you step inside, you realise that while the shop looked really small from the outside, on the inside, you kind of just look up, and look up, and look up, and oh god, the sea, like, the upwards direction of stacks and stacks of, like, shelves filled with paint of all different colours just keeps going far enough up that it vanishes into the distance. It's every single colour on the entire planet, everything you can imagine, you've got some from, like, space, you've got some from the opposite side of the world, you've got paint tins that are labelled things you wouldn't think possible, like polka dot paint, or one tin over there that's just labelled rainbow. Rainbow. It is every colour. And you Ooh. will notice a little like a little label on every single one of those pots that says safe for tunes. Because this is not simply a store where you buy paint as if you're painting a wall. This is a store where you can buy paint to paint yourself, because not all tunes come out come into the world fully coloured, and some people don't like that, and some people don't like the colours that they first started with, so it's maybe time for a bit of a palette swap, and this is the sort of place you'd get the paints for that. Uh, the one other thing that you guys would notice is um, a, a Frank and Ailey tune who is made out of, like, pure primary coloured paints lounging across the desk, an ice pack on his head, a thermometer on his um, a thermometer in his mouth looking rather faded and I will post a picture of what he normally looks like uh, here uh, or down below in the comments if you were listening afterwards but oh god where the fuck did I put this thing <laughs> uh, that is what he normally looks like at the moment, he's looking rather faded and, frankly, rather ill. Ooh. Oh, man. Who wants to go and talk to him first? Well, I mean, I was interested in all these paints, but there seems to be an ill-looking person over there, so there goes Grandma! <laughs> <laughs> Immediately tottering oh. over, it's much like a toddler, you blink and the old person's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think YB has noticed uh, him yet, because I believe just being inside with Thor, YB has been like just making so many notes, like, oh my god, it, it, it goes up all the way, I can't even see where it goes. And there's paints that you can paint on yourself and it's stay, oh my god, I can't, oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> just uh, cherry. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't worry. Uh, Cherry uh, immediately notices this person and, like, forget everything else. Like, oh man, there's somebody in trouble. I need to help them. So obviously she's going <laughs> to immediately. Zooming after the grandma. <laughs> oh, exactly. Uh, all right, as you guys come up to the counter, uh, like, the paint angel uh, looks up and kind of like, is that, like, uh, we're open today, but uh, what can I help you with? And he's not looking very good as he says that. <laughs> well, frankly, I would like to help you. Uh, yes, you're looking a little under the weather. Would you like some lemon drops? I have some in lavender pl flavor if you prefer. <laughs> Uh, lemon drop would be really nice, thank you. But I don't think I can. Uh, 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 <coughs> taste anything right now. Uh, and as he sneezes, you kind of just notice a little puff of paint go into the air, <laughs> um, and before it dissipates. Oh, uh, uh, were, were you here about the sign? Yes. Oh my goodness, yes, and she takes a handkerchief from her sleeve, because that's where grandmas all keep their handkerchiefs and tissues and offers <laughs> it to him. Uh, thank you. Uh, I was like, oh, this is like, I've got a job that I was meant to uh, uh, do today, but I uh, <laughs> managed to catch a flu. Uh, don't suppose you're any good at art? 
I mean, I've never tried, so I, I can't say, I can't, I can't confirm nor deny. Well, I mean, like, he might be, he might be good. <laughs> You've never tried. Exactly. Oh my goodness, I bet you're quite good at it. I've, I've had a little try at it myself, and I'll certainly give it my best if it means you staying at home and getting some rest, my goodness. Oh, uh, well, the like this uh, is my home and he just like waves towards all the sort of bags it's just like this is what i make this is what i do and i gotta do it and but i just ugh, don't think i could be uh flying halfway across the country right now i mm. should think not uh when you say that you just see yb like rushes over like you know that tunish thing where they just immediately right there it's like you can fly across the whole country? You can fly across the country? Oh, that must take so much energy. You kind of see, like, two blobby kind of dripping things that have, uh, that have kind of been rather slouched down behind Hugh's back to the point that you couldn't really see them, but you see them kind of lift up and give a little flap, and yep, those, those definitely seem to be wings. <laughs> be able to fly without actual bird wings, but made of paint, without... Do you have hollow bones or something? Is that how it works? Uh, he's, he's opening up his notebook I'm... again. <laughs> Hugh kind of is like, oh, this is like, uh, I'm all made of paint. And he kind of like gets one of his um, like bright red fingers onto the desk and just kind of traces a little pattern onto it. And you do see like this smear of bright red paint onto uh, go onto the desk and then seem to not just sit on top of it, but soak into it, on into like the line work, like underneath the line work, into the rest of the colors. And now, if any of you were to kind of like run your finger over the top, that wouldn't be wet paint. That would just be that is the part of the desk's color now. Mm. Ah. YB is fascinated. He's gonna stare at this for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> I think Cherry's joining in on just staring at that now. <laughs> That is, that is fascinating. I don't think I might take a look at it, you. Well, it's like, well, if you're gonna help recolor the place, or add color to the place in the first year. But, uh, ugh. If you guys are- uh, I feel any good at painting, I- uh, I don't suppose you could help me out here? I, I'll pay you for it, definitely. I just can't do it myself right now. Of course, I wouldn't imagine letting you do such a task while you're feeling so under the weather. I can paint, I can paint, I can paint, but this would be so nice, this would be so good for Listen. research, imagine this. What, what are we painting? Listen, I may not be much of an artist, personally, but I definitely could bring something in. And don't worry about paint, like, we're, we're, I'm here to help. <laughs> um, and he gives you like a like a really big smile, and he looks like genuinely like, very exhausted, but genuinely thankful, and that you are here, and is like, oh, thanks, guys. I think uh, uh so I can show you what you're meant to be doing. Uh, probably best to start with these. And he leans down like under his desk, and you can hear him roughly rifling through uh various drawers and everything. And then when he comes back up, he gives you guys each a leaf. Just a normal leaf off a tree, except it's entirely grey. <laughs> it feels oh. living, it feels like a regular leaf, it's just grey. Fascinating. How just, curious. He nudges, uh, Hugh then like nudges a uh, glass jar filled with paintbrushes towards you guys, and then like gestures towards the store, just filled with different colour paints. I reckon if you guys can manage to color these in, you'd be perfect for the job. <laughs> and, and this is the point where I uh, step back and as a DM tell you, for this task, you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can, if, oh, as long as you can make an argument as to whatever role you're doing for works for whatever your character is trying to do, you can do that role. There are some roles you can make that will give you advantage on other roles. Uh, but your task here is to colour in the leaf. <laughs> what do you want to do? Hmm. Mm -hmm. And there is any kind of paint at all. 
anything that's in the store and anything that's in the store is any kind of paint oh boy um i think cherry has taken notice of the rainbow paint because of course she would (laughs) (laughs) she's just wanting to try to dip the entire leaf just into the the rainbow paint (laughs) amazing okay if you want to just like grab one of those tins and dip the leaf in, can I get, uh, I was going to say, can I get a dexterity saving throw from you just to make sure you don't dye your fingertips rainbow? Oh boy. Uh, dexterity. Okay. I'm just trying to remember where everything is. Uh, I can, if you tell me what the, um, like plus or minus is, I can roll it for you if you want. Oh no, I, I can, I can do it. Okay. I'm just trying to find it on my sheet. <laughs> Nope, fair. <laughs> okay, I got a 17. <laughs> a 17 is good enough that not only did you not dye your fingertips rainbow, but you managed to get it down to like the very last speck at the very end of uh, the stem of the leaf. And you pull it back <laughs> up. And as it you do, like you've got a little bit of paint dripping off it at first as you give the leaf a little shake. Um, and then you can once again get this moment of the paint kind of settling into the leaf instead of just coating it and uh congratulations you now have a rainbow leaf (laughs) (laughs) ain't gonna find any other leaf like that okay i need to know what the other two well like uh what yb and shelly are doing through this (laughs) um well you see shelly is used to working with different foods and colors in that regard and well she's doing her very best to not eat the leaf because this is not what this leaf is for it is not lunch <laughs> so she goes and she's looking at some of the different colors and she's you know taking one of the paint brushes with her as well because well she was asked to paint it so she's going to do her best here and she's going to find a few nice greens and see if she can't you know make a nice you know nice crisp green leaf that she will also not eat but you know (laughs) it'll look tasty nonetheless (laughs) all right if you want to go looking around for different greens first roll me either perception or investigation your choice uh and i will tell you how many greens and how accurate they are okay um let's see perception okay i've got a better perception so i'm gonna go with that Now there is uh, one thing I will say here. If you, uh, this is only if you get a bad roll. So go ahead. Oh. So seeing that that was a bad roll, <laughs> there is one thing I will let you do. If you want to have advantage on this roll, so you get to roll again and take the higher number. However, I will ha- impose a disadvantage to you in another manner that you'll have to overcome in a sec. <laughs> if you want this, that's fair. Um. Well, actually, she's going to take this bad roll because, you know, sometimes you can't always find what you need, but you have to work with what you have. So even if it's not the perfect, tastiest looking green leaf, there's still good colors to work with and not every leaf has to be perfectly green. So she's going to take what she can find and do the best with what she has. I love this. All right. With a seven, then um, what you manage to perceive is... You think there might be more greens higher up because you can't see very many greens on a level that you can actually reach. The only two greens you find is one like bright blazing electric lime sort of green and one that's a very deep mossy sort of green. Oh. Uh, And while you ponder exactly how you want to go about with those colours, I will move on to YB. Do you have any ideas? Well, Wybe is current is has picked up a paintbrush and the leaf, and is now looking at the vast array of paint he can choose from, and is thinking to himself, "Do do I make do I paint it like a normal leaf, or do I do I do some odd type of color?" And if it's okay with you, can I roll investigation? Yeah, to absolutely. See if you find something interesting. All right, absolutely. That's a nine. <laughs> That's a nine. 
<laughs> okay, I will give you the same option that I gave Shelly here, which is you can roll again, so you have advantage on this one, uh, but I'm going to put like another obstacle in the way uh, if you if you want to have a go at this. Uh, I'll try. I feel like if I... I'm going to do advantage, but I feel like my, with my luck... <laughs> Not 20, baby! Oh, wow. Okay, plus <laughs> five! <laughs> <laughs> okay, with that, I'm gonna say, YB, because you kind of paused when you first came into this store and had a good look around, you have very much gotten the hang of how this whole store has been ordered. Because that was investigation rather than perception, you now have, like, a nearly perfect knowledge of how everything is laid out in this place. And as you're looking, you can see, ah yes, it does kind of go in a nice little rainbow one, and most of the greens tend to be in this kind of column. So you've located where the greens are exactly. However, as you look, a lot of the greens that you would normally go that are the colours of leaf colours uh, are kind of like a, a little bit out of reach. Especially considering that, yep, no, the guy at the desk, he could fly, couldn't he? Um, so you found the greens, you just got to have a bit of a time getting to them. The other thing I will give you though for a nat 20 is you said interesting, you didn't say accurate. Yeah. Do you want to have spotted something else as well? <laughs> Uh, I was say, I was wondering, would he be able to spot if there like any what, like tall ladders or anything, anything or any like ledges he can climb up on? There are no ladders because again, the guy that runs this shop can fly most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> However, the shelves do seem very sturdy and kind of broad, so you could probably climb up them. Oh <laughs> All right, and as YB begins uh, their climb, uh, back to Shelly. You found two greens, neither of them are massively suitable. How do you want to go about this? Well, she could either mix the two together and kind of balance it out, or she could just make a striking contrast between the two and just make it look like a really highlighted leaf, despite the fact that it's not in great shadow or highlight, but you know... Like one of those illusion paintings and well she's just going to have fun with it you know because that's half the fun of doing art and whatnot so she's just going to give it a best go with what she's got all right uh give me a dexterity roll then just to uh basically see how neatly you can uh go with whatever lines you wanted to go with okay like i don't think this really counts as performance or entertainment sadly uh but dexterity works that's a crit fail uh, I think with a crit fail, <laughs> as you're trying to get one of the tins of paint open, it's a bit difficult because you are an old grandma. Well, she doesn't have fingers in her defense. She has hooves. Yeah, so I think that's probably one of the other reasons you got like you got a one there. Um, so the problem is, as you're levering it open, it kind of goes everywhere. Um, you're a little bit green now, and by a little bit, I mean a lot. I will give you the choice of which green it was, though. It can be the neon green, because why not? <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so you're a little bit neon green, as is the floor, as is, like, any clothing you were wearing, um, or anything else you were really holding. Hugh kind of looks up over, like, oh, don't worry, it happens all the time, I can fix the fire a bit. Um, I have a green knitting needle now. This is fantastic. Yeah. Look at my walking stick. It's a, such a lovely color. Yeah. I'm going to say that you also managed to splash the electric lime all over oh, the leaf as well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, congratulations. You have got a green leaf. It's probably That's better great. to not go trying to open the other tin. No, my task is done. <laughs> yeah. All right. YB, please be the one that saves us here. <laughs> Can I get either an athletics or an acrobatics roll from you to see oh. how your climbing is going? I'm going to do acrobatics because um, in my athletics, I do have a negative two. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, please, please athletics. <laughs> please, not acro uh, please acrobatics. That's a, <laughs> That's a five. <sighs> wow, this game is off to a good start. Okay, I've got... All right. 
Again, because I would like to progress in this game, uh, Cherry, how, how are you doing? Because um, you were done basically straight away. Uh, how are well, you yeah, doing? I kind of just found, I, I found the rainbow thing nearby, yeah. and I dunked it, and I'm good. Yeah, you're done. Um, I, I have a how are you feeling watching done. the other two doing all this? <laughs> I, I would say it's pretty, pretty good. Um, do you need any help up there? Uh... Uh, at this point, has YB fallen off yeah, of the Yeah, I think, I think you probably got up, like, two shelves, and then your foot slipped, and you kind of fell back on your butt. <laughs> that makes sense. He does have hooves. It's kind of hard to climb. Yeah. <laughs> what what, what color are you up. trying to grab? What, what color? I hear a uh, cat in the background. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> please, please tell it's your cat, cat that I love them. Happy place. <laughs> she thanks you. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. Oh, why... yeah what, what color? What color are you trying to get? Uh, I, I don't know. I was just gonna go look, mm -hmm. but maybe I think I think I'll go with maybe do a gradient, like a green and a yellow. So you Ooh. see he's made up his mind now. <laughs> After falling. Oh, amazing. Good news is the yellows are right next to the greens. <laughs> <laughs> How helpful. <laughs> so, uh, sh sh should I try to grab, like, one of the paint cans for you or something? No, no, I think I got it. I got it. <laughs> okay. okay. Watch as he doesn't. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, <laughs> you, please, please, uh, roll acrobatics again as you are taking your second go. However, I am expecting a higher roll this time. <laughs> oh, well, welcome to um, my famous luck. Watch <laughs> eight. <laughs> See, like an eight would have gotten you up there the first time, not this time. I think what happens here is now you do manage to climb up a fair few you get up just high enough that like it's about even with your normal height so you like you're a full yb off the ground now um oh, and just as like six. yeah like as you're peering closer at one of the tins of paint wondering if this would be a color that's really good um your hand slips this time then your other foot slips um and then you go falling <laughs> cherry do you make any motion to catch him Oh, yes, please. Absolutely. I don't know if I'm going to be successful, but you know, the, the, the attempt is going to be there. I did I did say, uh, I, I actually said, um, like, problem is here, we've got a cherry and a shelly when you both sound the same. Oh! <laughs> what, what we do? Do? Never what mind! It'll help if you both crash into each other, it'll be fantastic. I mean, you can just say cherry bomb. Yeah, I think, I think I might just for the sake of clarification. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, do I so if I do either slash both of you make an attempt to catch him? To catch him? Yes. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, both of you please make um either strength or dexterity. I'll let you choose. <laughs> okay. St straight up strength or uh like just yeah, just straight up strength. Okay. So Oh boy. <laughs> The good news is, I'm asking this of the two fighters in the group. And this fighter has minus one in strength. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, with a ten and a seven, that was abysmal, both of you. <laughs> I know I said she was good at it. Okay. I'm still proud, but thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sorry to think this whole game, they, uh, <laughs> kind of collapse before you even get to the place you're meant to be painting. <laughs> Going out for tea and scones or something, you yeah. know. It'd just be that way sometimes. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, so what happens is both of you, because you're both scurrying to go underneath um, YB to try and catch him, you both don't actually look out for each other and you collide into oh each God. other, go <laughs> dunk, dunk onto the ground and then thunk YB on top of you. Technically, we caught him then, so, you know, that was a success. <laughs> I'm like, then you like with the noise, you kind of like where he'd been starting to fall asleep, and just like, uh, d d do you need help reaching some of the walls up there? I think I've got a ladder out the back, or I could uh, get, go get him. Very handy. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, it might be a bit helpful. Yeah. And for the sake of moving this nice onwards, dies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hugh, Hugh goes out the back, and he pulls out a ladder, and like we do get that wonderful gag of as he's kind of bringing it out. Um, you can see him, he's holding it horizontal underneath his arm, and it just kind of keeps oh going God. as he's walking out the door, and it just keeps going, and it just keeps going for several long seconds, until eventually, without seeing the other end of the ladder, we cut to Hugh propping it up against the shelves for you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> YB, you now have access to the colours you wanted. <laughs> I'm gonna jot some, down some notes about the ladder. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, can I get it? <laughs> Alright, we will say that you successfully retrieve whatever colours you wanted. Please give me Dex to see how well you managed to paint the leaf. <laughs> oh, boy. oh no, this is gonna go greatly, won't it? What the heck is my Dex? I mean, like, it should be alright. I think you're like one of the few people that actually had good stats in this one. That's an 11. Okay, good. <laughs> Good news is, you fucking scraped a pass here. Oh and I mean God. scraped. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, you three line up again in front of the desk where he was sitting at. And he inspects all of your leaves. And I think he just kind of... First up... Uh, cherry bombs. It's just like, yeah, you've got nice coverage. Uh, it, the leaf is well and truly covered. You didn't use too much paint, so it isn't like kind of dripping off it or anything. Uh, but um, interesting color, interesting color. Um, uh -huh. and moving on, Shelly <laughs> next is just he kind of looks and it went and went. Uh, you had a bit of an accident here, did you? <laughs> I did. I'm truly sorry, but it is a very lovely green, and she just seems so pleased with her little green leaf and her little green oh. self. <laughs> and he just kind of like looks at it and gives you a nod, like he's just like, "Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that is true." But he, he can't deny that. <laughs> I guess you could say you got a green thumb. Oh, exactly. Uh. Green self, even. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then next he moves on to YB's, and it's a little bit of a mess. You're not the neatest uh, with a paintbrush, but you have chosen some really nice shades of green with a bit of yellow highlight. You've added a little, like, there's a, an attempt at shading on the underside, so Hugh kind of just flips it in between and just kind of like, All right, you're the one in charge. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>, what? <laughs> And then uh, he kind of claps his hands together, and as he pulls them apart, uh, there's three paintbrushes just standing in between his hands. And when I say paintbrushes, I don't mean paintbrushes. I mean brushes literally made of paint. And he hands one to each of you. Okay, this this will help speed up the job. Is uh, They kind of just work like... Uh, oh, one moment. He does it again, grabs himself a fourth one, and you can kind of see him dabbing a little bit at like the skin, the red skin on his arms, a little bit of like the yellow from his toga, and like a teensy bit of blue. Uh, no, wait, needs to be a little bit darker, a bit more red, a little bit of black from a little brooch he's wearing, and then he just kind of, with a single stroke, he wipes it across the floor with a massive electric lime green stain <laughs> had set in. <laughs> and uh it is quickly replaced with a nice brown and it's it like it matches the rest of the floor it's missing all the nice little wood grain markings that the rest of the floor has uh but Hugh just kind of weighs it as like i can fix this up later but this this will help speed things up a fair bit <laughs> shelly applauds <laughs> all right um and with that very 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 enthusiastically and with that, for the sake of time, I'm going to skip ahead. Uh, we're going to like cut straight to you guys on the road with a cart filled with paint tins in the back. Uh, it's not every single colour of paint. I'm very sorry, uh, Cherry Bomb, you did not get to bring the rainbow paint. No! I wanted to make a rainbow tree! Wait, can I... Wait, wait a second. Yeah. Can I roll a stealth real quick? Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> are you sure gonna end up there? I, I have an idea. Now? <laughs> what are you trying to steal? <laughs> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> 21. <laughs> God damn. Why have you before the luck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, so he he notices that Cherry Bomb is looking a bit sad because she didn't break, get to bring her rainbow paint. And he reaches into his, <laughs> into his uh, bag and pulls out some out the, the paint. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, Hugh, as in the name rather than the color, is going to be so sad that you stole from him. <laughs> <laughs> but also with good intentions, okay. But at the same time it's like you got a twenty one. Theoretically, as long as you put the paint back before he notices, it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we cut to you guys on the road with a cart full of various tins of paint, and on your way to a small little rubber hose town uh on the edge of Giz- Giznep named um Greskaville. And Greskaville is, this is me doing a little bit of um, monologuing because I can, and because I want to put lore into this, but Greskaville is a small town on the very edge of Giznep. It's near where the mountain ranges are, you can kind of see them in the distance, but it is the, is one of the rubber hose towns that used to be black and white, but because it's a little bit too far out, it never really could afford to have colour piped to it in order for it to be in colour, like technicolour full time, uh, so instead, this is all information that Hugh would have given. Like four times per year, they pay Hugh to come over and paint the town to suit whatever season it is. And it's oh. like winter's generally the easiest because it's generally just putting a lot of white everywhere. Autumn is a lot of fun because you get to use so many different oranges and reds and browns and yellows. But you guys are going to help paint in spring. All the snow is melted, but the grass is still grey. And as you arrive, yeah, you guys are basically the only things in colour as you pull into town. A very vibrant colour, I might add. <laughs> yeah, that is true. You're still green. <laughs> there must be a, like, like a pattern in regard to thumbs, because I certainly feel like I'm sticking out like a sore thumb. Uh, YB is currently his... He looks very excited about this. His tail is wagging. (laughs) You guys are all adorable. (laughs) But uh, but yeah, on the trip, were there any like discussions you guys wanted to have or things you wanted to make note of? Because it is a like it is a cart ride that probably would have taken a full day or two. No. 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 Um, Cherry probably has told a couple of stories about some of her trips because she never shuts up. <laughs> uh, she's probably also talking about how many things she wants to paint and what things she wants to paint colors of because she thinks it would be fun and it's her creative liberties taking flight for the first time. <laughs> uh, uh, YB. Oh, oh, go. No, no, go, go. Okay, okay. Uh, YB probably would have mentioned at some how uh, Shelly looks kind of like his grandmother. Aww. You know, you kind of do look like a grandma of, uh, of someone. I don't even know if I have a grandma. Well, you can certainly call me grandma if you like. Here, would you like some lemon and lavender oh. cake? And she's like, she's like, she's handing out like slices of lemon lavender cake. Oh. She pulls out a tea set from absolutely nowhere, pours everybody yeah. tea and everything to have with the cake. And she's just listening intently to everybody's stories and everything. And at one point, you notice as she's like having the lemon lavender cake, some of her wool is actually changing color to match what she's eating. And she just kind oh. of starts taking it down and she carves it on the trip and she has this little drop spindle and she starts knitting it and she's just you know listening to everybody's stories and just enjoying the company and making sure do you want another cup of tea or there's more lemon lavender cake if you like i'm quite good uh, this does remind me of home so that's kind of nice um i wonder how they're doing actually um you see i so i <laughs> how do i put this I, I come from like a candy dessert place so, desserts are not out of the question. 
<laughs> Sorry, I just want I just want to uh, come in and say here, as someone that does actually spin their own yarn and like knits a whole bunch and everything, oh the, I- <laughs> the idea of like being able to card it, spin it, and knit with like uh, to uh, knit enough to be able to make a thing in a single day, especially with a drop spindle, is astounding. But we're working by toon rules here, and you can knit a whole sweater in like thirty <laughs> seconds. So <laughs> this is exactly what happens then, and, and you know, there's two other people here with her, so you know maybe they have sweaters by the time we arrive light sweaters though because we are painting in spring yeah no no it's it's gonna be like this wonderful mix of like lavender and lime and that's actually both atrocious and wonderful so <laughs> we match oh, that'll be really nice uh, I will say that um, once once you have like uh, shaved off the g- bright green uh, wool that you could, where it had stained, um, you, your skin underneath is just fine, Shelly. It's like the normal color. However, um, anywhere any like p- bits of skin that the paint um, landed on, that that's still green. That's still green. <laughs> Well, that's all right. You know, <laughs> see how this feels for a while. If I decide on a change later, well, I know where to go. But for right now, that's not important. Pours more tea. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think it looks pretty good. It does. It looks thank really you. Nice. At least it was the brighter one. Now I get to stand out even more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys eventually pull up in the middle of Grescoville. It's just a very, like very small country town. You've got a couple of people like bouncing along as they go like, "Oh, hello." As like, "Hello, hello." As they keep going past each other. Um hello. <laughs> Say hello. Oh, hello. hello. <laughs> As you guys are like coming up, they, it all seems very friendly. Uh, and you pull up to the town square, and ah, yes, there is like the main, like the town hall with the big clock at the top. And you've got um, a rather like bouncy looking, rather round mayor just kind of standing there every so often, looking at his watch, realizing, oh, wait, no, he doesn't have a watch. Looks up at the, like, the clock tower. Ah, yes, looks back down at his watch. Wait, no, arm down. I'm like that sort of little idle animation until you guys pull up and he sees you in your bright bright colors because again like all right i don't know if all of you guys have seen it but there's this thing that has been going around of like technicolor technicolor stops here um oh i've seen it co- oh yeah. yeah if you guys have seen that around like that technicolor stops here i laughed so much when i first saw that because it was after i had already fully planned out this game and scheduled it and i'm like oh nice. yeah that's oh what gosh. this fucking game is so yeah there was this moment where um the colors basically stopped on your ride and now it's been grayscale mostly just for the surroundings of this town you can see like nice you can see nice grass everywhere and you can see lots of flowers and there are nice gray trees and there are gray houses and there are gray roofs that no longer have any white snow on top of them and uh, you're getting a bit of a theme here (laughs) <laughs> and so once you pull up the mayor goes like ah oh, yes hello 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 we got a message from Hugh and I'm guessing that he Hugh sent you yes mm-hmm. all right all right yes he did all right all right well with this is the list that we've decided upon this year i'm glad to hear that you're that you're all here uh so and he hands you this nice long rolling bit of paper that of course does the whole thing of rolling all along the ground (laughs) (laughs) and on it it has a massive list of each of the houses like each house in the town um the name of the resident Mm -hmm. and the name of the color that they want each part of their and the name of the color that they want each part of the house because people have Different, want, want different rooms and some people that may have like had a nice yellow house last year have decided that yeah no no you know what I want to try a nice blue um and it's it's all that sort of thing and then at the very end you've got not just the houses but the hills the nature the flowers and all of that as well so um y'all are gonna be at this for a while <laughs> Mm. I do have a way to kind of fast forward through a chunk of it, uh, and it is going by montage. <laughs> but well, bef- then I travel by montage on the regular. Yeah, I think I can do it. <laughs> travel by montage? What that sounds like character by the way. <laughs> 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 she legitimately travels by montage. <laughs> Look, it's the fastest way to travel as a tune. <laughs> You can't go wrong with this. She's even taken a real kind with her on uh, montages. Oh, that would have been fun. 
but yeah, we can go like when it comes to this wonderful painting montage, I will I will give you guys suggestions on various things that you could be doing, but this is gonna be you three collab like collaborating in what you want to do. However, the tone of it and how well each of your characters are gonna do are gonna be defined by each of you just rolling three d20s and i will take the middle score like Ooh, no pluses okay. no minuses just straight luck rolls Ooh. okay <laughs> probably the Why? fastest way is each of you just going 3d20 uh, at once and then i can pick the numbers out of that ah uh, yeah yeah so should we do that right now yes or? please do okay so 3d20 yeah uh, so three. Let me see. Okay, that's Ooh. a 17 from Cherry Bomb, a 14 from um, YB. That was very lucky that you didn't wind up with that three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we ready for me to ruin it all? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Why does you get like a net 20? Oh, and oh that was 13 from Shelly. Okay, I breathe. <laughs> all right, I so was ready. From this, all three of you have definitely got enough that you can manage to successfully and reasonably well complete this job. So, um, and I will say, um, Shelly, you're the one that kind of came the closest to failing, but you still definitely got enough. From that, you're going to have a little bit of trouble with doing some of the tasks. Maybe it comes down to moving, maybe like you have another mishap with the paint tins, but there won't be anything bad enough to say that like you didn't do this job right. Um, YB, more or less the same with you, but with the added, oh yes, you were the person that was meant to be in charge, um, you probably should have been paying a little bit more attention to some of these bits, but like, it, it, it's fine. No, this, again, this is rubber hose, like, the camera quality in areas like these isn't gonna go pick, picking up any of the small mistakes. Um, and with a 17 cherry bomb, you, you've blown it out of the park, frankly. <laughs> Like you're you <laughs> obviously your idea of just dipping the entire leaf in before has given you a really good idea of how much paint needs to go where in order to soak in properly. So from that, uh you guys get to paint the town. <laughs> what oh, wonderful man. montage ideas do you have? Mm. I'm I'm gonna leave this to Cherry Bomb because I'm betting YB has never been in a montage before. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah. Well, oh, one oh, last thing I will say uh, is like the paint brushes that Hugh got, uh, that Hugh gave you guys is um they they can cut like they will color whole swathe of things with a single swipe. So like if you want to color on a whole wall, you basically just need to do like a single little zigzag, and the entire wall Ooh. will be whatever color you wanted. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> Makes things nice and quick. Oh man, Mon montage. Oh, montage man. time. Um, the animator in me is getting very excited at this. At this, very yes. <laughs> this is the time uh, to get excited. What ideas do you have? <laughs> I feel like one of the first things, like, I I'm not sure music wise, but definitely just some kind of peppy music that's just very, uh, like, workout esque. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Probably one of the first visuals I can think of is Cherry and the others are likely running along a fence and just dragging the paintbrush all the way down. <laughs> I love it. I love it. There's probably a couple houses that they're bouncing onto. I'm not sure how good Cherry can jump in terms of uh, toony antics or anything, but if she's somehow able to jump above houses, rooftops in some fashion <laughs> okay G Probably give me bouncing around and actually trying to tap each of the rooftops maybe i don't no, know. i was gonna say can you give me a quick athletics or acrobatics roll to see how well this goes <laughs> <laughs> because it would also be hilarious if the montage like, like it, at the beginning of this shot you were bouncing along really well and then there was just this whole and you slip and then just go <laughs> little tumble and straight down and land in next to the others laughing but only if you roll bad <laughs> Okay, so what is it, a strength? Um, uh, either athletics or acrobatics, your choice. Okay, I'm going to do acrobatics because that feels appropriate. Uh, <laughs> that would be a plus five. I got Seven. a 17. <laughs> yep, yeah, no, you can easily uh, go bouncing along the rooftops if you want. 
<laughs> but yeah, Shelly, YB, are there any like specific actions that you want to do? Uh, I want to. I want to know how tall are the buildings in this town? Um, most of them are only one or two story. They're only meant to be rather small houses. So, uh, like realistically, the tallest building is going to be the town hall, which is going to be something like uh call it 30 feet tall where the clock tower is um mm. but like m for the most part the houses are only like what 15 feet tall at most okay because i was gonna say if they were shorter than six feet i'd imagine i think <laughs> it'd be funny if why was just a just saw it like cherry bump like jumping around on these houses and he's just kind of there standing about the same height <laughs> but no it's fine uh uh anyways for a month for a part of a montage, I what if like when one of them is running, like like how they did with the fence part, when they're running, they accidentally paint a tomb. Yes, because <laughs> that's that's the other thing that I realized I forgot to mention. You're not just coloring the houses and like the environment; you are coloring in the people as well. Oh man! <laughs> so I can completely. <laughs> I like the visual where it's like you're running, running, running. There's the fence, 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 fence. Blap right onto a tune, and you're still going. Yeah, and the tune much. just kind of looks kind of like a what? what? <laughs> yeah, there's probably this one moment where like the into all the tunes in the town are like in this big long wavy line in the town square as you like the three of you are standing at the front with lots of um various tins of bright colors and a couple of various skin colors as they line up and you all quickly go paint 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 next person paint 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 next person as you go along oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah like, i was gonna say shelly did you have any ideas for any specific things that you wanted to do well one thing she's gonna try because she's gonna remember how he like touched different things with the paintbrush to put paint on it before painting the floor she's gonna try instead of going like for the paint she's gonna see if she can get the lime green from herself to the paintbrush see if that Ooh. does anything <sighs> I want to say yes, but this doesn't, but at the same time, the reason that it worked for Hugh is because he is literally made of the paint. Like everything in each of these tins that you are using has come from him. So he has mixed and designed every one of these colors himself. It, That's fair. Yeah. So being on you, I do love the idea of you like trying to get the green off and like when that doesn't work, just kind of rubbing your arm on the grass to see if that goes. Yeah, she does that. She's just like, mm -mm, no, okay. She she looks a little bit sad for a second, but then she sees everybody else like they're working higher up and with taller things. But you know, she's standing there like a little hunched over with her walking stick and so she goes for the ground basically yeah. she's just like swiping along the ground she's like doing little drops on the flowers and everything yeah she's getting into smaller details and she's like swiping over shoes and making them all nice and shiny and colorful and little striped socks and little Aww. button snap-ups and everything and just Aww. doing all that stuff that's so good <laughs> i love that that's wonderful <laughs> Hey, oh. Kai, can, can I add on to one little thing about painting on the tunes? Please do, please do. <laughs> so, Jerry's painting on the tunes, but also, um, uh, she has a pen from somebody that she interacted with a while back. It's basically a regular big pen with a fountain pen tip being taped on. Mm -hmm. It's clearly super fancy, super expensive yeah, yeah. pen. <laughs> she is going to draw mustaches and you name it onto any given tune. <laughs> Because she can. Okay. I why think, not? I reckon, like, the mayor, who had an already kind of small moustache, and as you've drawn, like, another, like, a much bigger, fancier one, the mayor is oh, happy yeah. with this. A couple of, like, <laughs> there, are, there are a no couple stash. of other tunes that are kind of, kind of like, all right, yep, got a moustache now. This one lady <laughs> comes up and, like, make it the biggest that you can. <laughs> oh, my yes. God. And I'm guessing she goes away very happy. <laughs> She's very happy. <laughs> there are obviously gonna be a couple that are kind of like trying to wipe it up off, off on their sleeve afterwards, but like, uh, <laughs> considering how well the your, like considering how well the rest of Cherry Bomb's painting is, um, you can get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody questions it because she's just trying her best. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's just the season that everyone in town has mustaches. It's fine. But yeah. Mustache season. Forget Movember. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh. But yeah, there's moments where you guys have like uh like swung out on ropes and little like uh little swings and so you can paint all the clock tower and like the um numbers on the clock are gold and you've got moments where you're going through and like yeah drop little little drops on all the each individual flowers and even a couple of like the little bees that you can see going in the flowers you can see them before the yellow paint even dries you can see the bees just dive bombing into it and then rolling about and then popping up and ah yes the bee is now like black and yellow instead of white and black so <laughs> Um, so you get like wonderful moments as you are going about town and like every every so often we come back and we see you guys going crossing off parts of the list, crossing off parts of the list. This whole job is good, it like does take at least a full day, likely longer, just because you're having to paint an entire town and its peoples and its environments and also, you know, do the interior decorating for a bunch of people that could afford to paint the inside of their houses as well. Uh, but overall you get almost done other than two two particular uh items on the list which were right down at the bottom the first is uh mr carol's prize roses oh dear um, now mr mm. mr carol as he sees the three of you coming up to his house is standing there looking very grumpy especially is then this is accentuated by the teensy little moustache that you've drew, drawn on him cherry bomb <laughs> and so <it's> like, <laughs> now these are my prize roses i've won many 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 awards for them and he like gestures back and you can just see like shining plaques and medals and little ribbons and everything going oh in the background it's like so you better not do anything to damage them with that paint or with anything else or you'll be hearing from me again now get to it and he walks off um you... shelly looks down at her lime green self looks up at the other two shifts back <laughs> a little bit <laughs> Uh, Cherry is just gonna do a little salute as the the, the as they leave. Like you got it. <laughs> Absolutely not a single thought runs through this person, this character's head. Absolutely I not. I love her. <laughs> um, YB is. He still has like, uh, he, he still has a smile on his face, but you can tell he's a bit nervous <laughs> now because oh boy. <laughs> Probably for the best. Uh, like these roses are gorgeously trimmed, as you say. Like they're both planted like just on either side of the door in front of um Mr. Carroll's house. And they're obviously gorgeously trimmed with beautiful leaves sprouting all over them and these wonderful, like beautiful heads of flowers blooming big, everything still grayscale, which looks kind of odd compared to the rest of this guy's house and garden. There's those there's only two things that have not yet been painted in as they were last on the list. Um, I do want to just quickly ask, how do you three want to go about this? Mm. Oh no. Mm. Oh no sounds about right. Uh you know um you know that one scene in this in that one SpongeBob episode where Ray has to paint like Mr. Kraft's house. <gasps> you remember yes. how like they had yeah. to, like they like SpongeBob took like a tiny like little piece of hair just to, to do it and to like, paint something? <laughs> Instead of taking a nose, he took a nose hair. Why he obviously uses one of his own like hair from the top of his head, and just attaches it to like a little stick. It's like okay, okay. I think I got this. I love this. I love the detail that you're going to be putting into this, and because because of that, because that's a fucking delight. I am going to say. You have time to quickly make a perception check here. Oh boy. <laughs> Let me see what my perception is. <laughs> That's a five. <laughs> you are so intent on the single drop of red that is at the very tip of this hair that you have attached to a stick here that you don't 
actually pay attention uh, to these things as you're getting closer and you're getting closer and your arm reaches nearby and oh, those are... you don't really get the chance to say, oh, those are some nasty thorns, because you don't notice them. Um, instead, I do just have to quickly ask, uh, what's your armor class? <laughs> it's a oh, 12. Well. <laughs> so a 14 beats that. Okay, one moment. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> do, 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 do. Um, please take four damage as one of the branches of this rose just kind of rears back and then goes thwip at you and whips you with some of its thorns and both the roses kind of start roiling and shifting about and the like the actual heads of the flowers tilt down to look at you three and they may be flowers no. but you can tell they are sneering at you please roll initiative <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Oh. Remind me how to roll initiative. Okay, it's going to be a d20 plus your initiative bonus, um, which you should have which on your sheet there somewhere. And now I get the... I don't need to remember where that is. Oh boy. Uh, proficiency <laughs> bonus, that's it, right? Uh, it, no, it shouldn't be your proficiency. Your, um... Hey, your... I am... Blech. Can anyone remember what it fucking is? <laughs> One moment, let me get your sheet up. Oh, no one just has mine like, on the side. Isn't it's it like constitution three. or something? Isn't it? it it's it's, it's based on dexterity, yeah. So it should just be yeah. like what your dexterity bonus is. Thank okay, you, so plus, okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, thank Mark. You, Mark. We love you. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, everyone's actually gotten okay. really fucking good rolls here. One moment. Okay, because these things do not actually, actually no, they've got a plus so that's an 18 and a uh 17 all right first up is going to be uh shelly actually second is um rose two third is uh rose one um, then we have wait i completely missed cherry bomb uh and then Okay, there's initiative. Uh, so, Shelly, you're up first. Uh, these roses just atta attacked your new friend. What do you want to do? Well, that's very rude. We were brought here to do a job, and we have been trying to help everybody all day, and you just attacked my friend, she says in a very <laughs> disproving grandma voice. And she goes, and she basically, she, she goes to quickly stand in front of her new friend, and she takes her walking stick, basically, which is a knitting needle, but it also doubles as a rapier, so she holds it, and she's basically got a guard position up. Okay. With that, I think, yes, are you going to do anything else, or are you just going to guard for now? She's just going to guard for now. All right. Because... They're not supposed to ha damage this plant, but she also doesn't want her new friend hurt either, so she's trying to, like, stand in the middle and stop anything else from happening. All right, I'm going to say then uh, that the Roses have disadvantage on attacks against uh, Shelly or Wybe then, uh, because you are guarding. All right. Uh, with that, uh, it's Rose 2's turn, and considering the one that you went up to was Rose 1, this one's going to kind of just, like, look at you two. And kind of go like, eh, okay, but consider there's a third one right there and is going to go after Cherry Bomb. Oh boy. Uh, is that was a plus three? It was a plus three. Okay. Um, a seven does not hit, I am guessing. Wait, 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 sorry. <laughs> What's your armor class? Armor class 14. No, a seven does not hit. So, yeah. <laughs> One, like, a stick whips out and shoots a bunch of thorns at you, um, but it Ooh. you easily dodge, because thankfully you are far enough away, and this rose has shit aim, apparently. Um, you're up next, though, Cherry Bomb. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't, I don't really want to hurt them, but they are, they are being a little hostile, um. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to, <laughs> trying to think, what can I do? Uh. What can I do? I am not sure what to do. That's a good question. 
I was gonna say, do you have? I don't want to hurt them. I was gonna say, do you have like anything in your hammer space that might be helpful? Or um, mm. no, you're a fighter, so you don't have spells. But uh, <laughs> um, you know what? I, this is gonna be very, very silly and probably pointless. But Cherry's gonna take out a rubber duck from hammer space <laughs> if that is possible. <laughs> yeah, roll and a d10. Just and... Poke it at the... <laughs> If you can. It's not going to hurt them, at least not harshly. <laughs> okay, you successfully have a rubber duck. What do you want to do with it? I'm going to throw it at the rose. <laughs> the one that tried to hit me. Um, okay. It's just... not going to damage it, I hope, because it's, it's a rubber duck. Yeah, just make a, no, a, like a normal spoon. attack roll with, like, no weapon bonus, I guess. Oh, so just, like, a regular d20? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, so this this rubber duck successfully manages to um get past the like all like the tangle of thorns that are in the way and lodges itself in the center of this plant. This plant um basically immediately curls up around the rubber duck and you can hear this whole <laughs> of the rubber duck getting squished and then <laughs> As the thorns jab into it, this rubber duck is now dead. But the good news is, this plant is distracted, and I will now give it disadvantage on rolls because <laughs> it's busy with the duck. <laughs> we we lost a member to to a fight. Ducky, no! Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Next up is Rose One, and it's gonna have um another go at YB because no, excuse you, this person was about to touch it. How dare! Um, and it's gonna have disadvantage. Uh, that's that. And you know, that's two. Uh -oh. Wait, it's plus three, not two. Um, well, that's a six, so. <laughs> There's an angry grandma in the way! <laughs> there is an angry grandma in the way, and she does an excellent job at batting back the thorns. <laughs> um, which means, YB, uh, you finally have a chance to react to whatever the peck has been going on. Well, I imagine after the initial attack, he was a bit stunned, but by now he's probably understand understands what the heck is going on. Yeah, yeah. But does, does he really know what to do? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, all he's going to do for now is he's going to reach into his hair, actually, and I'm going to have to make a roll for hammer space because, yep. It's just a d10. Nice and easy to do. Yep. Nice. Nice. Alright. Mm. So, he, he, managed, he manages to pull out his a little, it looks like a little stick, but then it, it grows into a full-on staff. And he now has it up to, at guard. Nice. Was there anything else you wanted to do, or were you just guarding for now? Just guarding for now. Alright, so this plant will have continued disadvantage against uh, you and Shelly then. Um, and Shelly, we're well, back to you. Okay, so I just remembered Shelly has dual wield. So she has her knitting needle in one hand, poof. She has the paintbrush in the other, so she's going to try and ready her action. So the next time this thing takes a swing at her... When she blocks, she's also going to try and swipe at it with the paintbrush. Ooh. So she can get color on it at the same time. Ooh, a good tactic. All right, with that, that will come Ooh. up like if and when this plant makes an attack at you. Uh, but because you're ready, I am going to give you advantage on the first one because the plant's not going to be expecting it, but you are. Um, yes. And now it is Rose 2 is going to have another go at Cherry. Uh, oh, boy. That's a 22. That does get past your armor class. <gasps> oh boy. It does. It does. 2c6 plus 1. Okay, you are gonna take uh, another 4 piercing damage, please. Wow, these plants are getting oh shit boy. rolls. <laughs> Thank goodness it's not just us. Or me, specifically. <laughs> oh wait, I said this thing would have disadvantage because it was distracted with the duck. One moment, let oh, me right. let me reroll that attack. That nine does not hit. You do not take any damage. <laughs> <laughs> this plant is too bu busy cuddling its new ducky. 
Well, I'm glad it's gotten to some kind of use. Hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah, Cherry, what do you want to do about this about this rose? Uh, hmm. Well, if it's distracted, ideally I would like to use that paintbrush to try to poke at it. <laughs> yep, okay. I want you to make um make a regular attack uh plus your dexterity plus 2. So d20 plus 2 plus 2. Yes. Alright, we'll see how much paint. That was a crap fail. Wait, no, no, oh, I was gonna say, this plant has disadvantage, you would have this. <laughs> I think with a crit fail, as you are leaning in to paint this, you kind of overbalance as this plant shifts out of the way. I'm not gonna make you take damage, however, you are now going to need to repaint Mr. Carol's house because there is this massive streak of red up one wall. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> um and next up rose one is going to is not happy about people blocking its attacks how dare you how dare you it is going to be in a huff and in a huff it's going to lash out at both of you this time um uh, that's gonna be plus three that one's at shelly uh and that one is uh, wait wait never mind it's a disadvantage for both of this Ugh. So Shelly, that's a four, that's a crit fail. Uh, good news is, Shelly, you are definitely going to get a chance to paint this thing. Yes! And YB, also at disadvantage, because you're blocking. Uh, uh, it is going to hit you again, YB, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, two, D, six, plus one. That's ten damage. Are you okay? Oh. Um, I'm down to 19. Oh, boy. oh, you're fine. <laughs> you're Still fine. Ow. You're not dead, but ow. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, but the good news is with a crit fail, uh, I'm not even going to ask you for a roll, Shelly, because as oh, this, um, as it reached out to try and lash around one of your needles to pull it away, it kind of got caught and it wasn't expecting you to be as strong as an old, uh, as an attached to a knitting needle, as like an old grandma can be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you quickly managed to send a lick of paint up its branch and you have successfully painted the green onto the roses. You have not yet painted the flowers. Yes. Oh, well, you've painted the green onto one rose, not the flower yet. Uh, and with that, uh, YB, your turn. So, <laughs> he has just been attacked twice. Yeah, I'm sorry. Not having the greatest time. I'm sorry. But he, is, he isn't going to, like, full-on lash out and, like, destroy the flowers because that's not going to end well. So what he is going to do is he's going to cast the hideous laughter. <laughs> On the flower that just attacked him. Okay. Oh my god. I love this. Alright, but the thing is, as you are a tune, can you make a joke that will make these roses laugh? Uh, you... Since he's a half tune, can it be like really bad? It well? absolutely can. <laughs> Terrible jokes are encouraged. You are also entirely allowed to use Google to look up plant based puns. Yeah, I'm going to actually have to do that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, while you're actually looking that up, does everyone maybe want to take a five ten minute break? Sure. If you guys, if you guys want, yeah. I could do with could like refilling my water bottle. So, um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We could call this a half time break, uh, and we'll be back when everyone's ready to be back. So, see you in a sec, guys. Bye. Okay. Bye. Like, hey, gallery, how's it going? Just a little gallery. <laughs> These are all so terrible puns, but I think I found one. Oh man, I am. So I, I love this group, and I keep meaning to draw the group, but then I don't have references of the other. Oh, if you want a reference? I do have one. <laughs> that would be very lovely. <laughs> I've been drawing this entire time. <laughs> oh, that's the best. <laughs> So I'm really, I'm literally just drawing a bunch of cherries. Uh, I drew you. Uh, I tried drawing a couple paintbrushes, the roses, and the rubber duck. There's YB. <laughs> the staff oh. is not precise. The staff is much, much oh bigger. Oh my gosh. 
That is so cute. Absolutely no thoughts in this group, exactly. <laughs> nope. There is not a single thought that runs through Cherry's head, like, ever. I mean... <laughs> why be... He does have some thoughts, but, like, also... Just... <laughs> He's, like, got two brain cells. <laughs> Both the brain cells. Uh, I can't believe that the beginning bit with the leaves. <laughs> I thought that was great. The other two are trying so hard, and Mule Cherry's just here, like, <laughs> I'm gonna make a rainbow leaf. <laughs> Fun. Yep. That's it. <laughs> we haven't used the rainbow paint yet, have we? Oh, <gasps> we haven't. Have you seen those rainbow roses? Oh no. my god. So you're telling me what I need to do is uh, get the whole bucket and just dunk it and pray for the best. I mean, we can... Couldn't, couldn't we not far more easily clean up the mess around the flower as opposed to painting that the flowers true. themselves? That is true. I could fight them while they're distracted. But what, what we could do, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is plotting outside a character and all that stuff, but I'm, oh man. <laughs> Cherry does not think. She does not plan. But I do. Very fair. <laughs> but yeah, it's like if we, because we've already got some red on the wall. And as was stated, we have already painted the house, meaning that once the flower plant is done, we just have to fix any mistakes made. Yeah. Oh my God. Are we pulling a SpongeBob? Is this what we're doing? <laughs> I mean, you know. I can't believe it. Well, I mean, like, Spongebob is, like, one of the inspirations for Cherry, so I mean... Oh, there you go. <laughs> this could work. Great. It could. Oh my god, this could work. It could. <laughs> Miss Fortune needs to get out of the dice roll area, but, you know, it could work. <laughs> or at least sit on the rose plant for a minute, please, Miss Fortune, that would be nice. Miss, Miss Fortune, I don't know much about you, but... It would it would be very massively appreciated if I could if I could do this. just just this one time and and then you can you can you can do whatever you want. Who's Miss Fortune? That's the um, why we would ask. Is, uh... I see that um, <laughs> usually shows up when you're doing really bad roles. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> when you've had a bad day, there's usually only one person to thank for that, or to hopefully offer some candy for, in hopes that maybe. Um, I feel that that's also the thing Terry would say in character. Oh yeah, and she she shows up whenever you do a bad roll, and people are like, "What is a bad roll?" I don't know. You tell no. me. What what is a bad roll? But with what be hearing that she, you have to thank her for any like bad things that happen to you. It's gonna be like, oh, <laughs> I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly just says, well, it doesn't really have anything to say after that, because it's just like, she doesn't, when you try to bake, when you burn like, the bread, bad roll. Yep. Oh God. What have I just walked back into? <laughs> we have Don't a worry, plan. Buddy. We potentially have a plan. Oh, you have a plan. Potentially, whether or not it's don't, a good plan. Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it'll, it. It'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. Can, can I ask who you hate now? Because, uh, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think that she's really against you guys in this game, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she needs to get out of the dice roll, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, but yeah, is everyone good to continue? Yes. yes. Okay, YB, do you have a sufficiently good. terrible joke? Yeah. Alright, fire away. You know, I would I would just pay you, but I guess it's just one of Bo Rose things. <laughs> It's okay. Good news. <laughs> Good news is it's terrible enough that you've definitely made uh, this rose. Just kind of like pause for a second, and then you start seeing like the flower head kind of bob up and down and going. <laughs> <laughs> and this this rose is now snickering, and it has been caught in Tasha's hideous laughter. <laughs> Actually, no, it does technically not. I need to make a fucking roll for this. Uh, what do I roll again? Um, Please don't ask me. I don't know. I gotta pull up oh, this God. again. Uh, Dang it. Where did I? Well, but. Dang I it. Where it. is this? I, I know I, I have, have it too. I have Wait. to roll a wizard. I've got days. 
Uh, I'm all right. So wisdom saving throw. The good news is, <laughs> oh wait, no, these guys are, are neutral on wisdom. Never fucking mind. Uh, oh. it's just a straight d twenty. That's a three. <laughs> yeah, no. So it goes exactly how I just described. This this flower has been caught up in Tasha's hideous laughter. Well done. <laughs> that was atrocious. Applause oh, boy. All right, um, Shelly, it's back to you. Okay, so we so she's painted one, and the other one's laughing. And um, wait, who was it that had the um, extra bucket of paint? Uh, I have no idea. Um, but like the one, the one that is laughing is now the one that is half painted. Is the one okay? So she's gonna see if she can do like a quick lunge with the paintbrush because she's used to working with fencing style specifically. Mm -hmm. So she's gonna see if she can get the red, go in there, and just do a quick swipe with the red paint. Okay, uh, make me um, like the attack roll plus dex plus uh, plus two then. Okay. Um, where's is that attack roll? Is that like strength? Just like, yeah, it's a, it's a, well, when I say, it's, yeah, it's going to be d20 plus your dex plus the two that you get oh, from dex plus having a paintbrush. Okay. okay, so. Dex plus two. I think technically you have advantage on this as well. Okay, should I add anything else or not? Nah? Uh, it just means you get to roll twice. Oh, sweet. Okay. So 2d20 plus everything? Um, you know what? We can I can do the maths if you just roll two d twenty. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, with that, we'll go with the twelve. What's your dex bonus again? Uh, three. Three. Okay, that makes uh twelve plus five, which is seventeen. Uh, so yeah, that hits. You manage to get a splash of red across this head as it's uh like across the rose as it's kind of like shaky up and down in its laughter. Um, holding another like flower bud near where its chest, its stem is basically. Um, as it is like bursting to laughter, and you get this slash of red across it with a couple of drips going off to the side to uh grab the other flower buds and congratulations you have successfully managed to paint in rose one which is now incapacitated as it continues to laugh <laughs> <laughs> you still have rose two there completely black and white still and very entertained by its duck <laughs> glorious progress and teamwork <laughs> Next up is Rose 2's turn, and Cherry, I'm sorry again, you got a little bit too close last time, it's not happy about that, it thinks you're trying to steal its duck. So, <laughs> it's gonna take an attack at you, uh, disadvantage still, okay. uh, so yeah, it really, that really... Does not hit. <laughs> it's less of an attack and more kind of waving a thorny branch in your direction to just kind of like, uh, go away, sort of thing. <laughs> Uh, what do you want to do about it, Cherry? So, I think for once in my life, or in Cherry's life, uh, Cherry has had some gears turning in her head during all of this. <laughs> <laughs> and she is reminded that Wyvie has got the rainbow bucket of paint. Oh no. <laughs> she wants to pick that up and completely dump it onto basically all the roses at once. Oh no. <laughs> um because we smart <laughs> yeah you you've got the yeah you can just go over why be do do you give cherry bomb the um bucket of rainbow paint uh i don't know if she's fully paid attention to what she's doing so she could easily just swipe it and <laughs> yeah okay he won't stop her honestly even if he did notice <laughs> okay I'm trying to figure out what the peck you would roll here for this. God, yeah. Because <laughs> you've uh, got the paint. What What do you roll for dumping paint uh, over a, a very <laughs> nasty a bush? And is it technically a ranged weapon? <laughs> I mean, you are kind of going over a certain amount of range, right? Maybe, maybe yeah. light a hand? Cause, well, no. Uh, no. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I could Even just make it straight dex. I could just make it straight dex to. Yeah, it could be. All right. It could be, it could be straight dex. 
Okay, I'm going to say you have to get it above one point to make sure you have covered the entire rose. You have to get it even higher to make sure you don't also paint the wall of the house again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, yep, yeah, give me decks. So, D20 plus two. I got an <laughs> All right. Um, again, your aim is rather off. It wasn't quite as bad as before. You've got a couple of splatters of rainbow across the leaves of the rose. But, um, yeah, no, it, now it's kind of like, before you would have just had to repaint a patch of the house. Now it's kind of like across the wall and uh, the door a little bit and uh, <laughs> kind of splattering the window there. Um, that's going to be fun to clean up. <laughs> And um, I will. Fine. I'll say you are not entirely out of rainbow paint, as you can still kind of like scrape the edges, but you haven't got enough yet to go splashing it everywhere again. Oh boy. Hmm. Well, I tried. You tried. It was a good idea. It was a fantastic job. You did very well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Shucks>. <laughs> Um, you have half painted, the, you have a quarter painted the rose with rainbow paint, I will say that. And we're back to Rose 1, who is going to have another go at not laughing. Nope, the joke's still fucking hilarious. Well done, YB, you are a master comedian. <laughs> so, master comedian, what do you want to do? Well, the rose that was attacking him was, is, well, is now just laughing at a joke that he came up with in just a second mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so he's gonna go over to the rose that is still like attacking the rose too and he's actually going to cast shield on him and cherry all right that, that will oh. probably be helpful then yep uh what uh please remind me what shield does I reading it currently. Okay. Uh, it's a magical barrier that protects you and who and whoever is behind, like with you yeah. for like your turn. Yeah. Is it like upping your armor class or enforcing disadvantage? Uh, it's upping my armor class to okay. a plus five bonus, actually. Nice. Pretty nifty. All right, that will definitely be helpful then. Um, with that, so you two are definitely protected. Uh, Shelly, what do you want to do? You now have one rose completely painted. Okay, so she turns her attention to the one that is still completely black and white, and I'm guessing is still aggressive? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so this is probably going to put her at a disadvantage, but she puts... The knitted needle away. She's still holding the paintbrush. She takes out a piece of candy and holds it out to the flower. Hmm. To see if it will come to the to the candy and she can paint it as it approaches. Can you give me a persuasion roll? Uh. If I can find it, yes. <laughs> I found this. it. Yeah, it's just on the skill <laughs> list. So... Pretty in like I'm not sure if this will that's a nineteen. I was about to say I wasn't sure that this would work great because you know flowers don't tend to eat candy. But these are obvious this is obviously really good candy. And it's already having fun with its duck. But you can kind of see it like look over at you and look down at the candy and look back at its duck and then back at the candy and like ah, and it rashes out super quick to try and snatch it. Give me uh this isn't Pathfinder, you don't have reflex. Give me a dexterity saving throw, please, here. Just to see if you can quickly manage to paint it. Okay. With a nine another nineteen. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. You easily manage to um, paint this branch as it wraps around the candy and then it quickly snatches it back and now you can just kind of hear nom, 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 noise. <laughs> you don't know where it's eating it. You don't know how it's eating it. Don't think you want to know, but it, it's very happily enjoying it. <laughs> I 
as long as it's enjoying the candy, that is the main thing. And it's partially painted too, so I'm not going to argue. Exactly. So you've got the greens down. Uh, you managed to go over these bits that had been splashed rainbow um, by Cherry. <laughs> so <laughs> you've got the green sorted. Uh, but I'm, all I'm just thinking is now you know how that frankly terrifying thing that would happen in a lot of rubber hose cartoons is where just various inanimate objects would suddenly have human-like teeth and mouth to swallow a thing and then kind of shrinks oh. back in and goes back to normal <laughs> yeah that's what the rose did <laughs> I, I frequently forget how inherently terrifying a lot of rubber hose stuff is <laughs> yeah. Oh, <that's> <laughs> yeah. um yeah but yeah so you've got now you've actually just got the flower parts of the rose two to go uh ro it is rose two's turn it is now i'm gonna say because you have pacified it with the sweet it's just not gonna do anything so cherry do you want to have another go at painting this thing <laughs> i would love to do another go at painting this thing <laughs> okay. absolutely one more paint attack roll then please so what was that d20 plus two plus your decks yep yeah. Okay. 18. 18. <laughs> with, that, with, good rolls. with that, and with that teamwork to make sure no one gets apparently hurt. Sorry, YB. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cherry, you quickly lean in and splash a lick of red paint over the tops of the roses. And again, there's a couple of drops that go down uh, to cover the buds. And congratulations, you have successfully painted these roses without dealing a bit of damage. I am so proud of you three. <laughs> Huzzah! You've all done such, one, such wonderful jobs. Good jobs. Good jobs. <laughs> you are going to have oh. to. <laughs> you will have to repaint the house, but you know what? You can just let the roses go back to sleep for a bit first, maybe. It's fine. <laughs> shares more candy while we wait for the plants to go back to sleep and figure out which paints we're going to need to repaint the room. Yeah. You know, well, I think I could probably the paint the, I could, re I could repaint the side of the house. Um, I, I got I got a really good idea. M maybe they could do like a beer roll. Maybe most of us just suspect the thing. It'll be fine. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't actually catch. Maybe you can do a what now? A, a mural. mural. A mural. Okay, fair enough. I mean, if I, you... I don't know. I don't know if this person likes murals, but I, I have a pretty good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you want to do your mural, go ahead, please. <laughs> like she's like trying to do like the artistic thing where like you're holding your pen and your thumb out to try to like measure stuff. <laughs> Except the only thing is Cherry doesn't know what that means. So she's just doing it for the sake of doing it. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> <laughs> she's probably just doing that and just like, uh -huh, uh, okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Well, I think maybe a giant rose would cover it up. Eh? Eh? Uh, okay. <laughs> what on earth do I get you to roll to do this? <laughs> right, do it. Tell you what, what role do you want to do to do this? Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. I feel like probably the closest thing that would actually make this work is maybe like performance or sleight of hand. Hmm. It does take some precision to paint decently. Yeah, you okay. gotta have some hand control. All right, I will say go performance if you want it to be a bit more messy and artistic, but very flashy. Uh, go sleight of hand if you want to be really, really precise about this. Your choice. I feel like because it's Cherry, she's probably going to go for performance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love I this. She doesn't think of making it pretty. She's, she's not an artist. That's not her thing. But she's going to dang try anyway. <laughs> uh, and that's and a good idea. This is a gorgeous mural it has a couple of bits where like the paint is splashed out behind all the roses but like it's obviously purposeful splashes it looks absolutely gorgeous it is not at all what mr carroll had originally wanted on his house because he just wanted a nice plain house as a good backdrop to his gorgeous prize winning roses um 
However, because this is such a good piece of art, he kind of just stops and his jaw drops open <laughs> and his moustache falls off. <laughs> Yes. And he just goes around and like <laughs> chips his hat to you. His... <laughs> it's like gives you his handshake. Oh, and he's like, I've already forgotten what voice I gave it. Like, oh, very well done. Very yes, okay. He was like, I will say, not the greatest job on the road, but you know what? The mural very much makes it well done. Well done. <laughs> and shaking all of your hands. Uh, can I mention? Here, here is absolutely proud. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Wybie. Um, so this entire time, Wybie has been laying on the ground like absolutely defeated just like uh so basically like this but you know not floating <laughs> so when he goes over to shake wabby's hand wabby just kind of like sticks his hand up while still laying down yep. like yeah 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 perfect i think moments after cherry's gonna wander up and just casually poke your belly <laughs> oh that's gonna like cause him to like shoot up. like you know how it goes <laughs> like, <laughs> you need some bandages are you all right down there that's good. <laughs> Probably still got a couple of thorns stuck in you, but you're good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And with that, you can cross off, off the penultimate task that was on the list, and you are now down to the ultimate task, the final one, which, while the others all seem to be very, um, they, they tend to be kind of long descriptions, as it's kind of like, ah, yes, they need to be these colours and this type, and you need to do it, and this sort of thing. They're very long descriptions. This last one is very abrupt and very to the point, as it is only two words. And you look at it, and you get this moment of, oh, God, how are we meant to do that? Because those two words are the sky. And indeed, you have painted the rest of this town. You have beautiful, ma like the mountains in the background and the flowers in the fields, all the houses and all the people. But it is still against this ultimate backdrop of just light gray as the day passes and the white sun goes across the sky. So, how do you want to go about this one? Hmm. <laughs> You know, I was thinking about that, you know? How do you paint the sky? <laughs> uh... I, I could try and, like, throw you up there, or... I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Throw me, like and then I will throw the bucket of paint even higher. Well, hmm. what about I hold the bucket, you hold me, and then you hold them, and we just throw each other one after the other, and then throw the bucket last. I think I'm the lightest. I'm, that sounds like a good idea. But also, good work. I don't think I want to put you higher than me. Mm. And I'm nothing against you, but, but I, I I look out to to to, to people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do we have a slingshot? <laughs> Do we? Can we make one? You probably could. We could. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I just want to say, I have absolutely nothing written down in my notes for how you should be going about this. I have given you the challenge. You guys do what you like. Oh boy. For choosing complete mm -hmm. idiot idiocy. Exactly. This is what I encourage. This is what I love in one shots. <laughs> of course, this is what brought me the pigeon carriage, which was objectively a mistake, but you know what? I don't learn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that> was good. <laughs> Please never learn. I will never great. learn. <laughs> um, I think or learn I've, to keep doing it. I think what I have mostly learned is not to let my partner in my games, but uh, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh. giant, are you throwing each other? Are you going with a giant slingshot? Are you taking uh -huh. advantage that one of you actually can cast spells? What what I ideas have, have you got? Idea. I have a third idea. Okay. There's a lot of tunes in the area. <laughs> yes. I, I have rustic hospitality. <laughs> Meaning, townsfolk will be wanting to help as long as, you know, the, well, they, they need a nice guy. So I figure maybe we can, we can, we can do like a, like a, like a person power. Uh, and, and then they throw. 
I mean, that could work, but how are you going to be able to convince everybody <laughs> to do that? Well, again, I have <laughs> uh, I have hospitality. So since I come from the ranks of common folk, uh, I, I can fit amongst these other tunes, and they could help us. Hmm. I have an idea as well, but let's see let's see how these ones pan out first, perhaps. Let's let's start maybe with the smallest one and see how high we can go and then before we bring in everybody else. Or would you like to try your idea first? Because these are all very good ideas. <laughs> mm. Can we try the slingshot one? I maybe we could try the slingshot one. Yes, let's try that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So does anybody have a slingshot? Nope. I mean, I've got a level in Artificer. If you want to give me a minute, I can potentially make one? Or I pull mean, one yeah. from Hammer Space? Yeah, I was going to say, uh, if sure. you... I would say, yeah, from stuff you get from Hammer Space and maybe odds and ends you can pull from around the town. Uh, yeah, give me... Um, you're proficient in, like, Tinker's tools and stuff, isn't it? Or um, Artificer's tools, isn't it? Yeah, Artificer's tools, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, give me um, an Artificer's tools roll, which is just, like, d20 plus your proficiency bonus. And we'll see how good a slingshot you can make. Where's the proficiency bonus? I think for you, because you're level three, it's two. I'm just going to go with two instead of taking three hours trying to find this. Yeah, one moment. I can even pull it up for you in a second. It Yes, it's indeed two. It's indeed two. Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. Well, Miss Fortune's back. Um, I made a bike. <laughs> not a slingshot. I got distracted. I made a bike. I don't even like with a crit fail. Oh normally, normally I'd add in something else, but no. I think yeah, making a bike instead, pretty ideal. Yep, yep. I went to make a slingshot. It's a bike, and I went. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you don't realize wow. until you step back afterwards, like wiped your brow. Ooh. Wait. It's not even just a bike. It's a penny farthing. Yes. It's like, well, you'd be a little higher up if you stood on it, I guess. Stoop said, yeah. I mean, we could probably use a bike uh, to move around. It's true. Mm, not sure how we're going to reach the sky, though. Mm, no. Launch <laughs> off! Mm. I guess could, we could, could, we, could, could, we make the, could we make the bike fly? Could we, we? We could try to make the bike fly. I think do either of you know like spells or something? I don't know anything about spells. I, I know some spells, but I think I have an idea on what we could do. And I need one of you to get onto the bike. Cherry's already on the bike. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a bit like our, our idea of throwing each other. Except... And YB is going to begin casting Mage Hand. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to point out that Mage Hand can only lift up like five pounds of weight. I think it's a penny part. Penny farthing plus cherry yeah. is going to be a bit more than that. Yeah, that would be definitely more than that. <laughs> well, YB's going to try like, anyways. It's not the heaviest, but you know. YB's going to try and realize oh, wait, I can't. <laughs> Like, you give it a good go. You have a good try it. But like, oh, sorry, not five pounds. It's ten pounds. That's still yeah. definitely not going to be enough. <laughs> but like, yeah, you grab yeah. onto like the center bar and try. Uh, uh, you can see the mage hand straining and then just kind of flops down like, nah, ain't doing a boss. <laughs> <laughs> there was an attempt. <laughs> Do you think if I worked out on this bike, it would make it lighter? Hmm. Hmm. What if we add a propeller? <laughs> okay, what can we make a propeller out of? The same things we made the bike out of? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm just going to say, because you're tunes, you have access to the tools you need to make whatever you like. So, yeah, make another <laughs> Artifices tools roll, please. Watch as I turn this into a submarine. <laughs> <laughs> Be like the yellow submarine from the movie. It's <laughs> fly. Okay, so okay. I said it's not Okay. I think with an 11, you did successfully make a propeller. 
It is, however, pointed in the wrong way. So now this pethy farthing can be, uh, as you are riding forwards, you're not just pushing the wheels forward, you're also pushing the propeller around, so you can go really, really fast on this bike. <laughs> We're making great progress, just not in the right direction. <laughs> Oh, we're still making progress. <laughs> what, Absolutely. What is hilarious is I know for a fact that YB has a spell that would solve everything here. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell you because <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> no, no, no. We can do this. We can do this. An uh, ominous, ominous voice from the sky. You you don't need to say anything. Yeah, no, no, I'll keep quiet. Sorry. From the sky. What? I guess she was feeling better after all. <laughs> I always love it when characters tell off the DM. <laughs> What's a DM? Oh, it's a god. Like, you know, the almighty DM. I, some places in Iquel worship it. I'm What's afraid I don't know what you're talking about, ominous voice. Anyway. <laughs> Actually, I want to make... Can I make an intelligence check? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I want to see if YB actually remembers that spell. Now, question, is this YB remembering the spell or you wanting a hint from me? No, 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 I know what spell you're talking about, okay. this is YB. Okay, yeah, perfect, please. This is entire... 13, up to you, it could go either way. Uh, he... He remembers... A spell. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> it's not the right one. But he does remember that he has the spell jump. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm on the bike, I'm I'm ready to go. Let's see. <laughs> I have to let's go, let's go, let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's gonna start preparing it. <laughs> it takes like five minutes to tower up a spell. <laughs> She's just there bouncing on the bike. Like, come on. Come on, come on already. Come okay, on. okay, okay, okay. You ready? <laughs> Wait, if you also, if you go at an angle, you could have the propeller behind so you can maybe go even further on the jump. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Uh, he is, he is going to place his hand on to Cherry Bomb's shoulder. And cast jump and see how that goes. <laughs> okay, now I've had to I'll quickly look this up here. When you are making a jump, normally it's like you can get up into the air um, three plus your strength modifier. We've already established oh, that boy. Cherry has shit strength. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Her, her strength is terrible. But she's <laughs> willing to give it a try. Okay, now you can at least. Now that has been tripled. That has been tripled. So, um,. Well, how was that? I think mean? I think you can jump like six feet in the air now. Is it? Uh, Probably. Yeah, uh, yeah. I am not sure how to roll this. If there is a roll, there isn't a roll. This is this is just one of the ones where it's just straight maths. Uh, man, and uh, math is not my strong suit. No, it's like what, what's what's your strength <laughs> modifier again? <laughs> Uh, might as well. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that means you could normally only jump, jump two feet in the air. That's been tripled, so you can jump six feet in the air, which is pretty fucking high. Um, yeah. That's pretty fucking high. But even as you waggle your arms up above your head at the tip of the jump, and oh, that didn't work. Okay, again. Waggle, 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 waggle. <laughs> Waving the paintbrush in the air, desperately sending glops of bright blue paint everywhere. Um... I don't think you've managed to paint the sky, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, what what if we just we just turn the ground into the sky? How would like we if we that? stand on our heads? I mean they could. What? what and then you... if you were walking normally then you're just a weirdo. Wouldn't you then need this is this fucking voice little voice in the back of your head. Wouldn't that then mean you need to turn the sky into the ground and then paint the sky green? I mean the ground green. Oh no. <laughs> Not if we switch it back afterwards. 
struggling to think. As Charity is saying any of this, it's just the camera zoom very slowly onto her face as she's staring into the void. And she's trying to think this out. And, um, of course, it's just, it, it keeps going. It keeps going. And, oh boy. <laughs> okay, so... While that's happening, Shelly is going to look at all the stuff that she's been building things with. And she's just going to take up some sticks. She's going to make a frame. She's going to write sky underneath. She's just going to hold it above her head, aiming it at the sky, and try and paint in the frame she's holding to paint the sky. I love this. That's such oh a God. cool idea. I'm I'm outright fucking flipping a coin here to see if this works because I love this and I want it to um but also at the same uh, but this is a really clever idea. Okay, if it's a 1 it works, if it's a 2 sadly it doesn't. It works. Yes. <laughs> All right. I will I will put a caveat of it only paints the sky that you have the frame centered on. So as you kind of like see it it's like, "Oh, oh yes." Things are catching in blue. Yes, this is working. And then you move the frame down and you look up and there is like a rectangle of blue up in the sky. <laughs> well, can she do like a pan over, like slowly moving and just painting her hand up and down, slowly dragging yes. it across? Kind of like, you know, in Fantasia, when they pull the night across, she's just like painting the sky across and just letting it flow out. Yes, that's so good. That's perfect. I love this. Congratulations. It works. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've still got just like Cherry going cross-eyed with how hard that she's trying to think. <laughs> and why be Listen, doing who are knows. really turning today. <laughs> why be doing who knows what here? <laughs> it, it, I think at this point, like the internal monologue of Cherry right now is basically that little boy video where he goes, have you ever had a, where you and um and you and you could do so much you could do anything. That, that's that's Terry right now. <laughs> this <is> so good. <laughs> oh boy! This is... Congratulations, Shelley, on that astounding idea. Because with that, you can now cross off the final thing on the list of things you needed to do. Yay! Yay! <laughs> 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 All right. Were there any last things that you wanted to do in um, Greskaville before you head back to Happiest Place? Mm. Um, Shelly's probably mm. going to donate the bike if anyone wants it. <laughs> uh, the lady who came up earlier who wanted the biggest moustache happily takes it and then goes zooming away with the propeller, uh, with like the propeller pulled bike <laughs> nice. into the distance. Nice. Chaotic lady. <laughs> She's having a good time. I'm so I'm so glad. <laughs> All right. The mayor shakes each of your hands and thanks you greatly for the work that you've done. Uh, there is like a little like you can hear one or two people on the very edge of the crowd going, "It's not as good as Hugh does." It. It's like, oh, they, like they did all right. They did it. Don't, they, don't, hush, don't say anything. Else. Well, we're just taking the truth. It's not as good as what he did. Like people on the edge of the crowd kind of muttering that sort of stuff. But at the same time. Everyone does seem reasonably pleased. Everyone seems happy enough that, ah, yes, they've got colours. They are surrounded by beautiful green grass and green trees and flowers everywhere. And you guys have done a genuinely decent job. Congratulations. Yay. And you can now make the trip back to Happiest Place and back to Hugh. And who uh, definitely wants to know what the peck happened to his entire tin of rainbow paint. <laughs> <laughs> what I'd be looking for. At we Terry, can, very can, nervously, can, like, don't, don't worry about it. I bet uh, somebody just bought it and you forgot that they did. And he kind of just, like, looks at you for a couple of seconds. And, like, he doesn't look as sick as he did before because you guys were away for a day or two. So, like, he has recovered a little bit. And you can just kind of hear the wheels churning in his head and kind of going, like, he has no idea. No, it's okay. <laughs> Oh god. It's but okay, yeah, like, it's just some random tune out in the streets outside. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But yeah, like Hugh just kinda looks at you and then eventually shrugs. Just like, uh okay, if you say so, yeah, probably he has no idea. <laughs> <laughs> this man is a very sweet, a very gentle moron. <laughs> uh, 
Um, but yeah, so congratulations. Each of you get, uh, Hugh hands each of you 30 gold as payment for doing the job. Um, you also get a discount in his store to kind of uh, help. Uh, so he can kind of paint you back the colours you're meant to be from any colours that are splashed on you before. So <laughs> good news, Shelly, you get the green fixed if you want it fixed. <laughs> She'll get most of it fixed, but she'll leave like a little splash design on herself because it's kind of like a memory Aww. of everything that happened. Cause she's just like, no, this is a memory. I'm going to keep it. Aww, she's quite so happy good. with it. I think Cherry sees that and is like really happy about that idea. So she actually goes up to the green paint, the, the same lime green paint, and just kind of does a little dot on the bottom of her shoe. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Why be you going to join in now? <laughs> YB's gonna do that too, but to the little um, scarf thing that's on his tail. He's Aww. gonna add on. <laughs> that's so good. Oh, I love this. The final thing that you get, um, Hugh actually like Hugh pulls out of his own hammer space um, and hands each of you little brooches, and they look kind of like a little painter's palette. You know, the the thing that you hold where you can mix all the paints and everything. They're little versions of that, and each of them have like a blot. And Hugo's like, oh, oh, wait one second, I'll finish. Um, pulls out his own paintbrush and puts like one dab of red, one dab of yellow, and one dab of blue on each. And you can watch it sink in and like you can feel like a slight fizzle of magic to them. And he's like, thank you all so much for helping. It's been really glad to have you here. Like, you come back anytime. I'm happy to, if you ever want, like, uh, to change your palette and everything. Or you just have a chat. It's like, you see my pretty cool people and I'm so grateful for you helping me. Um, and... These little brooches, as when you have them on, will allow you to cast color spray three times per day at level one, or oh. once per day, or one uh, once per day at level one, and then once at level two, or once at three, and that's it. And as you cast each, as you cast the spell, the little blobs of color on the brooch will fade to gray until the next dawn. So. <laughs> I will write... Are we able to get that in text later on? <laughs> yes, I was about to say, I will write this out afterwards okay. so you can come back to it and reference it whenever you need to. But um, yeah, Hugh was very grateful uh, that you guys helped him out. So thank you. <laughs> Kiki and I mentioned as they're walking out of the store, YB like stops for a second. You can see like the gears turning in his head. And then he yells, wait, I could have used levitate. <laughs> <Yes>! <laughs> And with that, oh we God. cut, <laughs> slam cut to credits. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for playing. Uh, all of your characters um, managed to get a draft point from this, so make sure to note that down somewhere where you want, in case you want to level up or get any money or uh, any cool gear, stuff like that. I will write down your rewards so you can come back to it. Thank you all for playing. Thank, Thank you, for you so much us. for the game. And Thank you for fun. hosting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad you guys made a fantastic team. This was like a short game, but a really good one. So I'm real grateful for that. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, and with that, I need to go start getting ready for bed. I am exhausted. Oh, Thank you so much. Everyone want to say goodbye before I finish the recording? Bye. 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 I love you. Bye. -bye. <laughs>